Birmingham and beyond. Now, we are going to be talking all about calligraphy in literally 30 seconds' time, because where are we off to, please? Penn Museum and the Jewellery Court of Birmingham. Very nice. Now, calligraphy is the art of writing and directly it translates from the Greek language to mean what? Mm. That was the question. Ready for the answer now. Absolutely. If you didn't know and your home didn't know, our cameraman Ilva certainly did know. It translates into English, calligraphy from Greek, translates as... Beautiful writing. He's nodding because he knows that one. There we go. Uh, now, that was very well done if you got that. You're about to find out more, though, about calligraphy. Um, Pen Museum, please. I think we should. But then the one thing that I really love is the fact that everyone got to find out that I'm perfect. <laughs> it's a lot of fun right here at the World Calligraphy Day. And as you can see, I'm holding the made pen. But I've got none other but one of the best people to talk to today than Charlie. Hi. hi. It's my birthday today as well. Well, so, happy birthday. I know. I mean, World Calligraphy Day. Yeah. Incredible. Why do you think it's such an important event to hold? Well, I think there's been a real resurgence in handwriting, and we really want to get as many people in the world as possible to, 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 to see it as a fun event. Birmingham, it's yeah. got deep roots within yeah. history when it comes to calligraphy and handwriting. Indeed. What is it? Well, the history goes back to the 19th century, um, where Birmingham was, was the centre point of manufacture of, of writing products. And uh, we want to really just show that history, but also see what we can do in the future with a pen. Tell me something. Handwriting, calligraphy, what's yeah. the difference? Calligraphy just means the art of beautiful writing, so that it's the same thing. And I think often calligraphy has had a stigma to it, that it's, it's very tricky and traditional, but actually it's just, a, it's just a form of writing, and we're trying to you know, move that forward to the future. I'm going to ask you a very tricky question okay, now, Charlie. Go for it. Is there such a thing as an ugly handwriting? Like a doctor's. Most people <laughs> say doctors have an ugly handwriting. Well, I shouldn't say this, but my handwriting is known to be not very good. But um, I think using the right kind of pen and creating your own style is, is it's what it's all about. So, no, there's no such thing. Oh, absolutely. Well, I'm thinking, I'm about 35. Well, actually, I'm 35 exactly today. Yeah, yeah. 35 years from now, where are we seeing pen writing or handwriting? I think that it'll continue to evolve. Um, and I, th I don't know. That's the point. Let's just see what happens today. There could be a whole new style that's created from, from today and from years to come. I'm going to speak to one of our bloggers from here at the Penn Museum to find out a little bit more, William. You know us on the lowdown. We always want to give people the lowdown of what it is around the West Midlands. Let's talk about Birmingham, first of all. Where does Birmingham sit in everything? At everything? The centre <laughs> of everything. I mean, I'm a Brummie-born guy. What can I say to you? I'm in the Penn Museum. I mean, you're in the museum, the biggest, best Penn Museum in the world, but also it's here for a reason. It's here because this is where penmanship began. In the 1820s, or so, pens being built here. 75% of all pens in the world at one point came from this area of Birmingham. So it's a gorgeous place to be and to celebrate this work. Absolutely, and I think one of the things, I'm holding a pen now, but I find myself typing away on my computer most of the time and my devices. A lot of people are thinking pen writing, handwriting is actually dying. What do you say? They might have a point. Mine is, mine is particularly bad, but I think this... The use of handwriting as our main form of communication, that's been replaced by keyboards. But for artistry, for fine work, you would never send out a wedding invitation over a tweet, would you? You'd do it perfectly and beautifully. And, and the way that's done, I think it changes writing, it makes writing slower, more considered, better, and it also just looks so good. It's an art form in every sense now. Well, I think I want to find out, is there such a thing as ugly handwriting? <laughs> I actually have to uh, text my mum translations of birthday cards and things because of my handwriting, but I didn't tell you that. No, yeah. you didn't. No, you didn't. And I think if anyone needs to find out how to write properly, today's probably the best day to have come to World Calligraphy Day right here at the Penn Museum, or they can come any other time throughout the week to find out how they can improve handwriting that looks like this to something that looks much more sophisticated. Yes, I should have a demo now of mine, shouldn't I? It would look really good. I didn't think of that. <laughs> don't worry, we don't want to embarrass you. <laughs> oh, that looked fantastic. And um, basically qualified what none of us knew and apparently you're perfect. Uh, absolutely. And you know what? I will say, I knew I was perfect, but it needed the handwriting queen to say that to me. Yeah. And now it's it's official. Yeah. You know, the queen of handwriting, please, you're welcome to our quarters any time of the year. And you know who else is invited? Go on. Manuscript Pen Company, That those are the ones that actually organise the event. Mm. And the Pen Museum. How can we forget the Pen Museum? And that reminds me, I've got a gift for you. Oh, I love gifts. I love presents. Go yes, on. Yes, I'm the one that keeps giving. Take a hint. Okay. But anyway. Um, Go on. Officially, oh, look at this. I made this. 
No, no, no. This is from the manuscript pen yeah. company. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm not going to take credit. So this is from the manuscript company. Okay. Pen company. Yeah. And they would like to present this to you so you can write more love letters to me. 